Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to my reading room. Today, that you, you do see me in front of some of my bookshelves. I'm recording this on my uh, desktop computer. And, and I, uh, I figured I'd do it this way so you can see that I do actually have bookshelves and plenty of books on them. Uh, but uh, I know it's been a while since I last did a well, video to it. so today it's going to be a reading update, a reading and channel update, and uh, a book haul that because we went to a library book sale uh, last weekend. So, uh, so with that said, let me get started since I have a lot to show. Okay, but the book that I finished the other day was one that I had checked out from the library. It's at the Alphabet House up by uh, Yossi, I think the pronounce Yossi Adlerosen or Yossi, it looks like here, but with the J, a J of the European countries, it's pronounced more like a Y. And um, the, uh, he's the author that uh, wrote a lot of the Depart Department Q novels. He's a Danish author. And he has several books uh, translated into English now. And uh, that this is a standalone novel, uh, and it's not part of the Department Q. I've read a uh, couple of the Department Q uh, books, and, uh, and so I figured I'd check this one out. And I saw it at the library, and uh, it could count somewhat as for the book to. Uh, that goes to war uh, because the first part of this book takes place in uh, Germany during World War II. I'm not going to tell you much uh, about this book. I'm going to be making a separate uh, video uh, about it uh, sometime this weekend. But uh, so just remember then this is uh, uh, a uh, I did really like it. It keeps you it keeps you going. So uh, yeah, but like I said, the first part takes place uh, in Germany uh, during World War II. Uh, uh, the second part uh, is uh, takes place in Germany back in the seventies. Uh, actually, seventy two. So it's around the time that the uh, Summer Olympics uh, were going on, and of course that's when they uh, had the uh, uh, killing of the uh, Israeli team. Or so. Uh, so it uh, has uh, it's an uh, uh, interesting book. And uh, so the and the other book I was I've been reading is uh, here on my uh, Nook Wall Light. The book is uh, Adventures of Captain Hatteras by Jules Hearn. It's part of my project Hearn. It's the second novel that he wrote. I'm a little ways into it. I mainly read that like uh, at night uh, when I'm going after I lie down at night. I can read it with my, uh, through the glow light, uh, where my, it won't bother my wife uh, when she's sleeping, or I'll read it in the morning when I wake, the mornings I wake up early. And uh, the other book I'm uh, uh, reading now, or reading now is Larry Bond's First Team. It's by Larry Bond and Jim De Felice. I have a couple of books in this series, but I didn't have this one, so I, and I like to at least read the first book in this series to get some groundwork laid uh, for me to understand the others. And, uh, so uh, that's what this one's for. And uh, Larry Bond, if you don't know, he co-wrote uh, 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 co Red Storm Rising by Tom Clancy. Cole wrote it with uh, Tom Clancy, and then he started writing books on his own, which I like. And so that's what I'm reading 
Now I'm tap and that see I'm what I'm about to start reading here in my uh, uh Kindle Fire is okay, let me pull it up. Okay. Okay, waiting for it to pull it up. Okay, it's uh Okay, right now it's showing uh, Who's Body by Dorothy L. Sayers. Okay. But uh but I'm actually uh well, what it actually is this is uh the first three books in one volume here. And uh, this is uh author that uh you know oh, from two fond books like and uh, so I I haven't read any of Dorothy L. Sarah's uh, books yet, so if I figured I'd read these first three in memory of her and then after that I'll you know, I I always read uh uh, public domain mysteries and that are in the public domain and uh, her and I would talk about that uh, too because we discussed some books on there that we both uh, had read and so uh, that's what, what, what I'm reading right now and uh, and I was going to say what I'm doing is okay I know there's all these readathons and everything else that, uh, and that, that looks so like they'd be fun and stuff, but and I try doing them, but with my uh, migraines and stuff, I can't uh, can't read too fast that anymore, and uh, so uh, that it slows me down, and that I had eye surgery uh, four times, twice on each eye, and so. I pretty much read with only one eye right now. I don't read with both eyes at the same time. Uh, so it slows me down, and so I've come to a decision that uh, there's only one uh, one uh, year, uh, yearly uh, readathon that I'll uh, 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 take care uh, that I'll. Uh, doing every year that's March Mystery Madness which I've been a host for the last several years and uh, or I should say co-host and I have fun doing that uh, but uh, with the others uh, hey if if I get one book uh, read, uh, in the category for for that hey uh, I should be counted as uh, participating in it and because there are so many books that I've been wanting to read, and then I don't get to them because trying to do all these readathons. So I'm, like I said, I might read one book during the that month, or it would qualify me as uh, participating in it. So, uh, and uh, so now. I'll start showing you th some books, uh, the books I got at the library sale in the, at the library that my, in the town that my daughter lives in up in Wisconsin. It's around a 45 minute drive for us to get up there. Well, anyway, uh, so I'll show you the paperbacks first. The uh, first one is uh, uh, Arthur C. Clarke, 3001, The Final Fantasy. Uh, I have the other three books in the series. This is the last book uh, in the series. I haven't read any of them yet, but I will be sometime soon now that I have all the... Uh, now that I have all the books in this series. That's another thing I'm going to try doing too, is reading series more again, get back to them. I have so many series that I haven't uh, even started yet. Okay, the next one is Hat Tess Gerritsen, uh, The Surgeon. This is in the Rizzoli and Dial. It's uh, 
uh, series, and uh, I have like a couple books in that series, and so I figured I'd uh, get that one also, because, well, these paperbacks are 50 cents each, so that's not bad. Okay, W.E.B. Griffin, The Last Heroes, I might have this one, I know sometimes I don't think about it until later on, that, so, you know, this is the first volume of this Manette uh, War series. Next one is one that that I thought looked interesting. This is uh, uh, Hostile, Hostile Waters. It's by uh, Peter Hutchhausen, uh, uh, Igor uh, Curtin, and R. Allen White. And it's uh, like in the Techno thrillers are like along the line of Tom Clancy and Larry Bond in them. Okay, the next one is uh, Wind Talkers. Okay, this uh, one takes place during World War II. This, uh, of course, that you might have seen the film with uh, Nicolas Cage, and it's about the uh, uh, the uh, uh, army having. Uh, recruiting Native Americans to, uh, in order to, uh, to, uh, uh, in order to uh, be the ones uh, talking on the radio, because uh, the Japanese uh, didn't know how to break their code, the, didn't know any of the language, and neither did that, the, the Germans, so they these uh, Use Native Americans to uh, do the do that communications to. You. So uh, the other uh, side won't be ready for whatever it was they talked about. Next one is I get books like this to read. This is CSI Miami. It's written by Max Allen Collins. It's a first one I'm re I got from in that series. This next one I might have to, but it. It's in real nice shape, so you can see by the spine and stuff. This is uh, this is the zero game by Brad Meltzer. It's I uh, can't remember what series this is in, or if it's in a series. Uh, but uh, I tried to uh, pick his books up too. I have a few of his books, and this one, this one here, I. Uh, never seen before, but uh, it's uh, it's one that uh, oh, I saw by the spine first of all, and uh, it's called Eye of the Ego, and it looked interesting, and uh, then uh, I uh, read the blurb uh, some on the back. It's uh, along the same lines as. The, the other ones have been talked about, but look at this cover here, and uh, see, and so you can, that opens up so you can see uh, this, the name of the book is Eye of the Eagle by uh, Gloria Fantanza Basio, I'm probably uh, picturing it quite a bit. But it's a hefty sized book, but it's in pretty good shape, actually. Now, just let me see what in its room. Okay, it's a uh, copyright 1983. Don't see any uh, other dates in there. So. So that's a paperwork about backs I put picked up. Okay, then, uh, then I've uh, I got to the uh, uh, hard covers. They were only a dollar a piece. Uh, like I said, I have some of Larry Bond's first team series. This is. Uh, Another one in this series, which is Soul of the Assassin, I, I also done by uh, 
Barry Bond and Jim DeFleece. Next one, it's a hefty one. See how thick that is? The book is a uh, threat vector written by Tom Clancy and, uh, and uh, Mark Greeny. And I uh, can't remember which series this is in. It's, uh, I think it's with uh, Jack Ryan Jr. ones. Okay, and then the last three are by an author that I like that he that has a lot of series. He's done quite a few standalones also that I like. But uh, this this one, I, uh, it's a Christmas one, but uh, it's a good book, and I think my wife would like to read it too. Like uh, uh, she likes that the book. Uh, uh, what is it? Skipping Christmas or whatever by uh, Raphael. I know I have some of his books up here. Uh, shot by John Grissom. And, uh, but this one takes place on a uh, train headed out to like uh, Cal uh, uh, to California or something like that from Washington, D.C. And that it's with an author trying to figure out what to write and got, he got some inspiration from that and that, and it's also a like romance uh, type novel see uh, Larry Bond most of his novels are uh, are uh, uh, or uh, in series, I should say. And they're usually like hot thrillers. But, so I saw that one, uh, that's uh, it's a gambling man. i not, not sure whether I have uh, any of, of, of the books in this series or not, I might. And the uh, last book I have to show you is another one by uh, Dave Baldacci. This is uh, Dreamtown. This is uh, an Archer novel, uh, so I, I might have some books in that series too. Well, uh, that's uh, all, the ser all the books I have uh, picked up, and uh, uh, like I said, I'm going to be concentrating on series more and stuff, and uh, what I'm going to try doing is not just the series, but all the books by authors. That by authors I have, and uh, just uh, like do something like a deep dive on each of them. Uh, uh, for books I don't have, I'll try finding them at the library because uh, our library is pretty good at having the uh, books I'm looking for. So, uh, but that's all I have for this time. So, until next time, take it easy and keep on reading.